Speaking with County Island manager Danny Hill after tonight's 1 0 defeat against East Farrick. Danny, was that as frustrating uh, in the dugout as it was from behind the goal? Yeah, I, 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 thought, we, I thought we played quite well tonight. I, I, I thought we moved the ball around well. I thought, I thought the first half, especially the first 25 minutes, we completely dominated the game. Um, and then we, then we went off the ball for 10 minutes and then we've conceded a silly goal just before half time that sort of knocked the stuffing out of us. So then, so we come out second half and I thought it was only one team in it, so we created chances. Sansi scored an offside goal, couldn't really see from where I was, but very tight. Jay Curran's missed a sit over at the end there. And um, we've, we've created chances all, all, all second half. But, um, on another day, you'd win the game 2-1, two, 3-1, two, one, one. but fair play to reach for out. They dug in, sat behind the ball when they got their goal and uh, I say that they've nicked a result of us, but we definitely deserve something out of the game with mainly three points. Was it a case of everything that went right on Saturday didn't go right today? Perhaps the passing game yeah, wasn't. Yeah, maybe. I'd say I, 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 I just thought we dominated the game from start to finish. I thought we looked the better side. Um, I, 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 thought, I thought we looked stronger. I thought we looked more physical than them. I thought that there was a lot of time wasted going on at the end now. But it's just it's just one of them things. But. Um, all I've, all I've asked our players is uh, for, for a level of performance. And if you can keep that level of performance up here, week in, week out, you're going to win more games than you lose. And uh, I thought our level of performance was up there Saturday, and I thought it was up there again tonight, and we've come away and lost 1 0. So that'll turn around. But so if, if we play like we have done in the last two games on Saturday, we'll definitely get some kind of game. So we saw us, especially the first 10 15 minutes, carve out quite a few chances. Saw us carve out quite a few chances in the second half as well. How important in this league is it to take, when you get your chances to put them away? Oh, without doubt. But that's why you've got someone like John Sands up there. Like they say, he's got a cross in. He only, everything's fell to other people tonight. But say one, one decent ball's come in the area and he's gone and attacked it and did it in. But it's been called offside. For, I can't comment because obviously I didn't see it. I'm too far away. But. Uh, I so say it's all about chances. If you don't take chances, you don't win games. But so we took our chances Saturday, and uh, we, we, we created it. There's more of a problem in your football team if you have if you don't create any chances. But we created enough to like to win the game, and uh, they haven't gone our way tonight. But we'll, we'll dust ourselves down and go again Saturday. So we saw. Um what we saw behind the goal, a couple of penalty shouts, um, especially one push on John Sands. What did you make from where you were standing? Yeah, to be fair, obviously I don't want to dig out the referees and that. I just thought it was a lot, a lot went East Farrakh's way tonight. Um, but so you can't, you can't blame things like that. Um, so all, all I make me about is our performance. To say if we lost one nil today and we'd be really poor and gave the ball away too cheaply, um, never created no chances and uh, looked all over the show. But I thought we looked class act tonight and I thought we looked class act Saturday. But Saturday went for us tonight hasn't. But the performance levels there, so you just got to believe in yourselves and, uh, and hopefully we'll put it right Saturday. As we met, as we discussed the other day, East Farrakh is never a happy hunting no. ground for us, no. and uh, that has continued. Is it almost a blessing in disguise to get it over and done with early on in the season than it would have been if we were on a good run? Yeah, maybe. I'd, I'd say uh, over the last couple of seasons and that, it's, it's been a bit of a voodoo place for us and that, but like we, it didn't start well for us tonight. The goalkeeper of um, Denzel's. Uh, Got caught up in a train. He hasn't even made it here. Uh, it took him nearly four and a half hours to get from where he lives to, to here. And he ain't even made it. So uh, that's changed the goal only ten minutes before kickoff. Uh, John Sands has turned up ten minutes before kickoff because of the traffic where he lives. So the preparation weren't as good as we'd like it to be. But so well, they ain't no excuse. We still had enough chances to win the game, and uh, and we never took them. So that's, that's what happens to you. Looking forward to Saturday. Um, brand new ground for Canvey, a place we've never been before. Peacehaven, newly promoted. Are you looking at that, a game we can really look at getting three points from? Oh, hopefully, yeah. Well, I look at every game to try and get three points. And uh, obviously, after getting such a good start Saturday, it was just a bit disappointing not to pick anything up tonight. So, yeah. Uh, at the worst case scenario, we deserve to draw something out of the game. John Coventry is a nice man, and he just can't see him win. Like you didn't deserve that, but say so that's done there. That they've got the three points, but we've got to dust ourselves down, train properly Thursday, and move forward for Saturday. But I say, if just the level of performance is right, and we and we can do that again Saturday, we'll be fine. Fantastic, thank you, Danny. Thanks, mate.